I'll call to order the Ascension Parish Council meeting for Thursday, June 6th. If everyone would please stand for the prayer and the pledge led by Ms. Lindy, Lindsay Manda. To you this day, we thank you for the opportunity to meet. I ask that you would give our elected officials wisdom, and I pray that you would particularly be with the parents and family as they bury Tommy Parrington. I said the peace of God, which passes all comprehension and understanding, would guard their hearts and their minds. In Christ Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Lindsay. Roll call, Madam Secretary, all members present, with the exception of Councilman Joseph and Councilman Melanson, who is on his way. Chair's additions, I do want to note we are going to be passing on items 15, items 17, and items 36, 37, and 38. Number four is a sign-in period reminder if you wish to speak. And now is your time to fill out a card and you'll have three minutes. Number five is the parish president's report. Mr. President, doesn't have anything, okay? Thank you, sir. Item six, the chair would entertain a motion to adopt the consent agenda. So moved. Motion by Councilman Lambert, second by Councilman Klua. Any objection? Hearing none, consent agenda is adopted. Madam Secretary, please note that Councilman Joseph has arrived. Committee recommendations from our uh, personnel committee, uh, number seven through 13, uh, Chairman Todd Lambert. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, personnel committee uh, met on some reappointments and for new appointments. We'll start off with the uh, planning and zoning commission. They were all, uh, we had three for reappointments and one new applicant, Mr. Kenneth Barras. Uh, start off with number one, Gasper. Jefici, Jefici. Jefici. So moved. Motion. Okay, I have a motion by Councilman Clue uh, and a second by Councilman Shake Snyder. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion is adopted. Second was uh, Mr. Paul Nizo. So moved. Second. second. Motion by Councilman Shake Snyder, second by Councilman uh, Satterley. Any discussion? Any objection? That motion passes. And third was Mr. Uh, Joshua Ory. So moved. Motion, motion by Councilman Sheck Snyder, second by Councilwoman Cazzo. Any discussion? Any objection? That motion is adopted. And them appointments were ranked in order in that fashion. Uh, we'll move on to number eight, uh, ranked in order for the library board. Uh, the board recommended uh, Ms. Kathy Lambert as number one. So moved. Motion by Councilman Sheck Snyder. Second. Second by Councilman Kluat. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion is adopted. Just for information, uh, number two was Ms. Sherry Guiot, and number three was Ronnie Bicknell. Uh We'll move on to fire protection district number three. Uh, these are uh, all reappointments, no new uh, uh, applications on them. No, first one was Mr. Walter Leverage. So moved. Motion by Councilman Johnson. Second. Second by Councilman Kazza. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion's adopted. Second one was Mr. Jack Harris. So moved. Motion by Councilman Kazza. Second. Second by Councilman Johnson. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion passes. Uh, number three was Gary Newman. Motion. Motion Second. by Councilman Johnson. Second by Councilwoman Kazzo. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion passes. Number four, Michael Doring. Motion. Motion by Councilwoman Cazzo, second by Councilman Johnson. Any discussion? Any objection? The motion passes. And number five, Tracy Burns. So moved. Motion by Councilman Dempsey Lambert, second by Councilwoman Cazzo. Any discussion? Any objection? That motion passes. Next was uh, West Ascension Hospital District Board. Uh, all reappointments that applied. Uh, the number one was John Morshaw. Motion. Moved. Motion by Councilman Joseph, second by Councilman Shakespeare. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion passes. Uh, number two was Mr. Glenn Shakespeare. Motion. 
Second. Motion by Councilman Joseph, second by Councilman Sheck to enter into discussion. Any objection? Motion passes. And number three, August A.J. Gomez. Motion. Second. Motion by Councilman Joseph, second by Councilman Sheck Snyder. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion passes. Uh, number 11, uh, Economic Development Corporation Board of Directors, all reappointments. Uh, number one was Don Hanner. Motion. Motion by Councilman Kluat. Second. Second by Councilman Cazzo. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion passes. Number two was Erica Crenshaw. Motion. Motion by Councilman Cazzo, Councilwoman Cazzo, second by Councilman Sheck Snyder. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion passes. Next, we had Fire District number one, all reappointments. Uh, number one was uh, Charles A. Bear. Motion. Motion by Councilman Kluat. Second. Motion. Second by Councilman Johnson. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion passes. And number two, Mr. Brent Smith. Motion. Motion second. by Councilman Johnson, second by Councilman Satterley. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion passes. Last, uh, Waterway Commissions, all reappointments. Mr. Colin Roger. So Motion by Councilman Dempsey Lambert, second by Councilman Johnson. Discussion? Objections? Motion passes. Number two is Mr. John Tompla. Motion. So Motion by Councilman Kluat, second by Councilman Schechtsnyder. Any discussion? Objections. Motion passes. And number three is uh, Mr. Ronald Pro. Hello. Hello. Motion by Councilman Johnson, second by Councilman Dempsey Lambert. Any discussion? Any objections? Motion passes. And that should do the end of my report there, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Lambert. Uh, item 14 is the acceptance of the bid for the Ascension Parish Official Journal. Ms. Jones Sivers. Good evening. The police, jurors, city and parish councils and all the parishes at their first meeting in June of each year shall select a newspaper as official journal for a term of one year. On June 3rd, 2013, the purchasing department received one bid for the right to act as the official journal. The bid was received from the Gonzales Weekly Citizen after review, the Purchasing Department and Parish Secretary rec recommend accepting the lowest responsive bid from the Gonzales Weekly Citizen. So moved. Motion by Councilman Todd Lambert. Second. Second by Councilman Klua. Any discussion? Any objections? That motion passes. Thank you, Joan. We're passing on 15. Item 16 is a planning and zoning recommendation for review only. It's zoning review ID 2310.13, lots 46 and 47 Old Hickory Woods for Leela May Guitro, located on the west side of Louisiana Highway 44, approximately 1,000 feet south of Causey Road, to amend the Ascension Parish zoning map for medium intensity residential RM to mixed use 2 MU2. Again, that is for review only, so we will move to item 17, which is. We have something else we were passing on, excuse me, so we will move to item 18, which is the reading of an ordinance directing a renewal of the levy and collection of a special ad valorem tax of 1.5 mills on all property subject to taxation within the boundaries of the Parish of Ascension, State of Louisiana, commencing with the tax collection of the year 2014 and annually thereafter to and including the year 2023 to provide funds to the Parish of Ascension for the purpose of paying cost of programs for elderly citizens of the parish through the Ascension Council on Aging. Ms. Man, uh, Mr. Ryan, or is okay. Ms. Manda reading, I'm sorry. In ordinance directing a renewal of the levy and collection of a special ad valorem tax of 1.5 mills on all property subject to taxation within the boundaries of the Parish of Ascension the State of Louisiana, commencing with the tax collection year 2014 annually thereafter to and including the year 2023 to provide funds for the Parish of Ascension for the purpose of paying the cost of programs for the elder, elderly citizens of the parish be administered by the parish of the Ascension Council on Aging, including services, operations, capital improvements, including another lawful expense related there too. Whereas under the provisions of Article 7, Article 6, Sections 30 and 32 of the Louisiana Constitution of 1974 is amended and other constitutional and statutory authority, including the election held in the parish of Ascension State of Louisiana, the parish on May 4, 2013, the parish council of the parish, the parish council of the parish, the parish council, as governing authority of the parish, desires to renew and levy the levy and collection of the property tax as authorized at the election by virtue of the favorable passage of the proposition attached here to is Schedule A setting forth the rate and duration of the tax and whereas 
in compliance with the provisions and said authority and the other applicable constitutional statutory authority. An election was held in the parish on Saturday, May 4, 2013, to authorize the renewal of the levy and collection of the property tax. It is now desired the parish to renew the levy of the property tax and provide for the collection thereof, other matters in connection therewith, as here and provided in this ordinance. Now, therefore, it be ordained by the parish council acting as the governing authority of the parish that section one, pursuant to the authority of an election held in the parish on May 4, 2013, there be and there is hereby renewed within the geographic boundaries of the parish for the purposes stated in the proposition attached here to is Schedule A, the levy and collection of the property tax of 1.5 mills on all property subject to taxation within the boundaries of the parish of Central State of Louisiana commencing with the tax collection year for the year of 2014 and annually thereafter to and including the year of 2023 to provide funds for the parish of Central for the purpose of paying the cost for the progress of the elderly of the parish to be administered for the parish to, through the Essential Council on Aging, including services operation, capital improvements, equipment, and other lawful expenses related, to, related, related thereto, all in a manner and subject to provision in the terms of those, those portions of Title 33 of the Louisiana Revised Statute 1950 as amended applicable to the property taxes levied in the parish. Section 2, the levy and the collection of the property tax described in Section 1 above shall be renewed and enforced according to law. Section 3, the obligations to rights of the taxpayers in connection with the property tax levied hereby shall be as provided taxpayers by the provisions of law applicable by to property taxes levied in the parish. Section 4, if any one or more of these provisions of the ordinance shall be in any reason held to be illegal or invalid, such illegality or inv invalidity shall not affect any other provision of this ordinance, but this ordinance shall be construed and enforced as if such illegal or invalid provision, provisions had not been contained herein. Any constitutional or statutory provisions enacted after the time of, after the date of this ordinance, which validates or makes legal any provisions of this ordinance, which would not otherwise be valid or legal, shall be deemed to apply to this ordinance. Section 5. The title of this ordinance and the notice of the public hearing regarding its adoption shall be published in one issue of the Gonzales Weekly Citizen, the official journal of and a newspaper of general circulation of the parish. Upon adoption, this ordinance shall be published in full in one issue of the Gonzales Weekly Citizen and shall be recorded in the mortgage records of the Ascension Parish Court of Court. Section 6. The Chairman of the Parish Council. The Chairman of the Parish Council. I'm sorry, it should read, shall be and is hereby. Can we insert the word shall off the floor? In section six, the chairman of the parish council shall be in the first sentence, and he is hereby authorized, empowered, and directed to take any and all such actions as may be necessary to carry into the effects of prisons of this ordinance. Section seven, the ordinance shall immediately be taken effect upon adoption. Motion to open the public hearing. Second. Motion to open the public hearing by Councilman Todd Lambert, second by Councilman Dempsey Lambert. Anyone wishing to speak, now is your time. Motion to close by Councilman Johnson, uh, second by Councilman Kluat. Uh, the chair would ask that uh, the motion uh, to move the ordinance. Um, second. Uh, okay, Councilman Kluat and a second by Councilman Todd Lambert, but we actually needed an amendment to insert the word shall in section six as per Council, uh, Mr. Ryan. Yes. Is that I'll your motion? that motion to, what the to uh, uh, amended as such. Amended as such. Okay. I'll second. second that. Okay. Great. Any discussion? Any objection? That ordinance is adopted. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, number 21 is an ordinance to revoke the existing 25 foot sideline drainage servitude in Pelican Crossing, second filing, lot 67. Ms. Manda. Whereas the petitioner has petitioned the Ascension Parish Council to revoke the dedication of the existing 25-foot sideline drainage servitude located on lot 67 of Pelican Crossing Subdivision Second Filing, whereas the Drainage Department Engineering and Planning have reviewed and researched said request and have reported their findings to the Ascension Parish Planning Commission, and whereas the Ascension Parish Planning Commission, upon review of said petition and after having considered all of the facts relevant to this request, has recommended approval of the proposed revocation request. The Parish of Ascension hereby ordains that it grants approval of the revocation of the existing 25-foot sideline drainage servitude located on Lot 67 of Pelican Crossing Subdivision, second filing. Open a public hearing. I have a motion to open the public hearing by Councilman Satterley. Second. Second by Councilman Todd Lambert. Anyone wishing to speak? Motion, motion to close. close. Motion to close uh, by Councilman Satterley and second by Councilman Todd Lambert. Need a motion to move the ordinance. Motion. Motion by Councilman Kluat. Second. Second by Councilman Cazzo. Any discussion? Any objections? Ordinance is adopted. 
Number 24 is an ordinance to revoke the existing 15-foot rear drainage servitude on Tommy Moore Road, parent partition lot 1F-1-B-1. Michael E. Powers. Ms. Manda. Whereas the petitioner has petitioned the Ascension Parish Council to revoke the dedication of the 15-foot drainage servitude located on the rear portion of lot 1F-1-B-1 of the parent partition located on Tommy Moore Road, Whereas the Drainage Department, Engineering, and Planning have reviewed and researched said requests and have reported their findings to the Ascension Parish Planning Commission, and whereas the Ascension Parish Planning Commission, upon review of said petition, and after having considered all of the facts relevant to this request, has recommended approval of the proposed revocation request, the Parish of Ascension hereby ordains that it grants approval of the revocation of the 15-foot drainage servitude located on the rear portion of Lot 1F1B1 of the Parent Partition located on Tommy Moore Road. Motion to open the public hearing. Second. Motion to open the public hearing by Councilman Todd Lambert and a second by Councilman Satterley. Motion to close. Motion to close second. by the same two gentlemen. I uh, need a motion to move the ordinance. So, motion by Councilman Johnson, second, second by Councilman Todd Lambert. Any discussion? Any objections? The ordinance is adopted. Item 27 is an ordinance to revoke the existing 40-foot private access servitude on Utopia Lane, 10-foot utility servitude, and modify 35-foot building line, Panama Manor Drive, lots 4-A-1, 4-B-1, 4-C, 4-E, 4-E, Dolane martinez Boutreau. Ms. Manda. Whereas the petitioner has petitioned the Ascension Parish Council to revoke the dedication of the 40-foot private access servitude referred to as Utopia Lane and a 10-foot utility servitude located on and across lots 4A1, 4B1, 4C, 4D, and 4E along Panama Manor Drive, whereas the Parish Engineering Department and Parish Planning Office have reviewed the re and researched said requests and have reported their findings to the Ascension Parish Planning Commission and whereas the Ascension Parish Planning Commission, upon review of said petition, and after having considered all the facts relevant to this request, has recommended approval of the proposed revocation request, the Parish of Ascension hereby ordains that it grants approval of the revocation of the 40-foot private access servitude referred to as U Utopia Lane and a 10-foot utility servitude located on and across lots 4A1, 4B1, 4C, 4D, and 4E along Panama Manor Drive. Motion. Motion up to the public hearing by Councilman Todd Lambert. Second. And second by Councilman Kluat. Motion to, close. motion to close by Councilman Todd Lambert. Move the ordinance. I need a second, second. on the motion. Second uh, by Councilman Satterley. And I have a motion to move the ordinance by Councilman Schicksteiner. I need a second on that. Second. second by Councilman Todd Lambert. Okay. Any discussion on the ordinance? Any objections? The ordinance is adopted. Item number 30 is an ordinance to levy millage rates on the 2013 tax roll and all properties subject to taxation by the Ascension Parish Government. Ms. Manda. Be it ordained by the Council of the Parish of Ascension, Louisiana, that the following millage rates are hereby levied on the 2013 tax roll on all properties subject to taxation by Ascension Parish Government. Parish tax 2.86, Parish tax Donaldsonville 1.43, Parish Tax Gonzales 1.43, Health Center 2.00, Mental Health Program 2.00, Library Maintenance 4.2, Library Maintenance Number 2 2.6, Road Lighting District Number 1 5.00, Road Lighting District Number 2 1.00, Road Lighting District Number 3 5.00, Road Lighting District Number 4 5.00. Road Lighting District Number 5, 5.00. Road Lighting District Number 6, 5.00. Road Lighting District Number 7, 5.00. East Ascension Drainage District, 5.00. West Ascension Drainage District, 5.33. West Ascension Drainage District Number 2, 4.67. Parish Council on Aging, 1.5. Fire District Number 3, 10. Fire District Number 3, Number 2, 10. Utilities District Number 1, 10. Be it further ordained that the proper administrative officials of the Parish of Ascension, State of Louisiana, be, and that they are hereby empowered, authorized, and directed to, to spread said taxes as here and above set forth upon the assessment roll of said parish for the year 2013 and to make the collection of the taxes imposed for and on behalf of the taxing authority according to law and that the taxes herein levied shall become a permanent lien and privilege on all the property subject to taxation as herein set forth and collection thereof shall be enforceable in the manner provided by law. Need a motion to open the public hearing. Open. Motion Sorry. by Councilman Shakespeare, second by Councilman Dempsey Lambert. 
Move to close. Second. Motion to close by Councilman Joseph and, and uh, second by Councilman Satterley. Motion. And a motion to move the ordinance by Councilman Kluat. A second. And a second by Councilman Todd Lambert. Any discussion? Any objection? The ordinance is adopted. Item 33 is an ordinance to amend the Ascension Parish Code of Ordinances, Chapter 8, Emergency Management, Underground Pipeline and Utilities Damage Prevention. Ms. Manda. Whereas Ascension Parish is a local governmental subdivision as defined by Article, Article 6, Section 44 of the Louisiana Constitution of 1974, and whereas the Parish of Ascension is the governing and responsible body over emergency management, whereas the Code of Ordinances, Chapter 8, was adopted on February 3, 1994, and amended on April 6, 1995, and again on May 5, 2005, now therefore be it ordained by the Ascension Parish Governing Authority that the Code of Ordinances of Ascension Parish, Chapter 8, Emergency Management, be amended as follows. To amend Section 8-1, Purpose, and Section 8-9, Reimbursement of Costs Incurred During an Emergency Response. To add Section 8-10, Hazardous Material and Explosives Preparedness and Response, and Sections 8-11, Underground Pipeline and Utilities Damage Prevention, as, as detailed in Exhibit A, attached here to and made a part hereof. Yeah, motion open to public hearing. Motion. Motion by Councilman Johnson, second by Councilman Dempsey Lambert. Motion to close by Councilman second. Johnson, second by Councilman Satterley. Motion, Motion to move the ordinance by Councilman Johnson. Second. Second by Councilman Densey Lambert. Any discussion? Yeah. Councilman Schechtschneider. Yes, I want to uh, take this opportunity to thank uh, Mr. Weber and uh, President Martinez for uh, strong support and a lot, of, uh, a lot of background work to get this done. This is going to be a very important thing with all the pipelines crossing the parish and protecting the people. Needed to be done, and I'm, I'm excited about getting this done and moving forward. So, good job to everybody involved. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else? Is there any objection to the ordinance? Hearing none, ordinance is adopted. We're passing on items 36, 37, and 38. So, we'll move to item number 39. Ordinance to state the Ascension Parish Council's endorsement of Methanex USA LLC's Project Boxwood 2, the project to participate in the benefits of the Louisiana Enterprise Zone Program slash Quality Jobs Program. Ms. Manda. Whereas the Louisiana Enterprise Zone Program Quality Jobs Program offers significant in incentives for economic development to some of the most distressed areas in the state, and whereas the Ascension Parish Council states the endorsement is in agreement with the overall economic development plan for Ascension Parish, and whereas in accordance with the Louisiana Enterprise Zone Program Quality Jobs Program requirements, the Ascension Parish Council agrees to participate in the Enterprise Zone Program Quality Jobs Program to assist the Department of Economic Development in evaluating the progress made in any Enterprise Zone Program Quality Jobs Program within its jurisdiction to rebate one half cent of eligible surplus Ascension Parish sales and use taxes on the purchase of eligible construction materials, machinery, and equipment purchased for the project and used permanently by the Methanex USA LLC plan in Ascension Parish, Louisiana, and found to be in compliance with the Louisiana Enterprise Zone Act Quality Jobs Program. If found in compliance of this ordinance, Methanex USA LLC would receive 45, a 45 cent rebate of the Ascension Parish's one cent sales and use tax on the construction and initial equipping of the project. An Ascension Economic Development Fund would receive 0 0.05 or 5 cents of the rebated funds. The rebate shall be used for purposes of reimbursing only Methanex USA LLC's direct cost of the construction and initial equipping of the project at the Methanex USA LLC plant in Ascension Parish, Louisiana. Methanex USA LLC shall submit receipts associated with the cost of construction and initial equipping of the project to the Parish Sales Tax Authority, for which rebate is sought and after proof acknowledgement that Ascension Parish did in fact pull collect said taxes, the Ascension Parish Sales Tax Authority shall forward said request with recommendations to the Ascension Parish Treasurer for approval. The rebate estimated to be $450,000 is conditioned upon the creation of 35 direct new full-time jobs by Methanex USA LLC's employment company. Furthermore, Methanex USA LLC shall provide evidence that at least five of the new jobs created will have suffi sufficient hourly earnings and the other offer of sufficient company paid health care benefits as required to qualify for the state of Louisiana's quality jobs program. However, should Methanex USA LLC fail to create 35 direct and full-time jobs as voted here and above, the rebate shall be reduced at, to a pro rata basis for jobs not created. 
for illustrative purposes only. Should Methanex USA LLC create 32 jobs, the rebate would be limited to 91.142% of the amount of the rebate if Methanex USA LLC created 35 direct new full-time jobs. The rebate is payable for eligible expenditures occurring during the project period only. The project period shall be the same as the project period approved by the Louisiana Board of Commerce and Industry for Methanex USA LLC State Enterprise Zone Quality Jobs Contract for Project. Methanex USA LLC will provide a copy of the State Enterprise Zone Quality Jobs Contract to the Ascension Parish Treasurer within 30 days of the execution of said contract. Methanex USA LLC further agrees to seek an industrial area designation as provided by Louisiana Revised Statute 33, 130.11 at SEC. Methanex USA LLC agrees to consider purchasing water and gas from Ascension Parish if Ascension Parish can provide such service at a reasonably competitive price. Be it ordained that the Ascension Parish Council in due, regular and legal session convene that Methanex USA LLC and its project are endorsed to participate in the Louisiana Enterprise Zone Program Quality Jobs Program. Be it further ordained that the Ascension Parish Council as the governing authority in and for the Parish of Ascension will rebate one half cent from the Ascension Parish Government Local Sales and Use Tax of the eligible sales and use taxes collected for the construction of a plant by Methanex USA LLC's project, said amount estimated to be $450,000 from surplus funds, provided such sales taxes were collected and received. Any further rebates must be approved by the Parish Council. Be it further ordained that the Ascension Parish Treasurer is authorized to begin escrowing on a monthly basis a pro rata share of the sales tax collected until a sum of $450,000 is reached. Upon completion of the project and due proof presented, the treasurer shall be authorized to rebate the sales tax held in escrow up to 110% of $450,000 without further council action. The one half cent rebate shall be dispersed with 0.45 cents to Methanex USA LLC and 5 cents to Ascension Parish Economic Development Fund. Be it further ordained that the parish treasurer is authorized to require whatever documentation is necessary in her judgment to assure the project is complete. Be it further ordained that if any provision or item in this ordinance or application thereof is held invalid, such invalidity shall not affect other provisions, items, or applications which can be given effect without the invalid provisions, items, or applications. And to this end, the provisions of this ordinance are hereby declared severable. Be it further ordained that this ordinance shall take effect immediately. Be it further ordained that all ordinances or parts thereof in conflict herewith are hereby repealed. Motion. Motion over the public hearing by Councilman Kluat, second by Councilwoman Cazzo. Motion to close. Motion to close by Councilman Satterley. Motion. Second by Councilman Kluat. Motion. motion. Motion to move the ordinance by Councilman second. Kluat and a second by Councilman Todd Lambert. Any discussion? Councilman Shakespeare. Yes. Uh, uh, I want to thank uh, Mike Eads and Economic Development for working with this and, uh, and the Parish President for stepping forward and getting some uh, assistance for uh, the parish and making some contingencies that uh, these businesses actually do what they are said that they were going to do in, in uh, these agreements and also to let people know that we're also working on pilot programs for incentives in the futures to encourage uh, the spreading out of this uh, actually uh, have more more incentives to uh, get industries to come in uh, to the parish a little bit different and so we just want to let people know that constantly evolving uh, with this uh, this process. So thanks, everyone. Okay. Any other discussion? Ditto. Ditto. Okay. <laughs> no point in going over it again. <laughs> Any objections? Hearing none. Ordinance is adopted. I just want to thank Sergeant uh, Denby for being here tonight. Councilor Todd Lambert. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second by Councilman Kulat. We are adjourned.